reducing a posterior dislocation of the sternoclavicular joint when assessment reveals compromise to the airway, breathing, or circulation. Whew. Okay, so we start by putting a cravat around the upper chest of the patient. That's not really a first aid measure. It just gives the helper patroller something to anchor on. So with the cravat in place, you have a blanket or other object behind the patient so that you can position them supine, lay them back so you've got some room to work with, and then the helper patroller applies counter traction while you apply traction on the arm posteriorly and laterally. One more time! Lay the patient back on top of the rolled up blanket or other object that you have in place. Have the helper patroller take counter traction while you take the arm on the affected side. They pull counter traction, you pull outwards and slightly downwards on the affected side. This draws the end of the clavicle out away from the organs that it's impinging on. For transport, splint with a figure eight, which you've already seen, and get them the heck off the hill to definitive medical care.